Hey, 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 whippersnappers, it's Tortimer the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pixelmon on the Decimon server. Uh, kind of a, uh, a impromptu uh, start to an episode here, because as I was working a little bit on the gym, um, Groudon appeared. Apparently they spawn in Desert Hills biome, and so we're right up on top of the gym, um, and, uh, and here he is. So, um, yeah, <laughs> we may be seeing these regularly, but... Uh, I was so excited, I just jumped into a battle with him, I was like, oh my god, and so I started attacking him. Uh, Thwomp took some a beating though, and I wanted to wait, and I threw one Ultra Ball, and he popped out, not right away, but I can't get him any lower, I, I, I can't risk it, uh, hitting him again with Thwomp, um, and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> I don't think anyone else is strong enough, so I wanted to wait until I could use my Dusk Balls, because they're a little more effective than, uh, Ultra Balls are. Um, and just see if I can survive long enough to catch him. No, not even close. Uh, let's try Cal. Um, uh, let's try a quick attack. Okay, let's do a couple of those. If he only knows ground moves. Oh, okay, he doesn't only know ground moves. Okay, but we got him down a little bit more. Let's try another Dusk Ball here. Hopefully he can use enough ground moves that Cal can survive. <laughs> Oh, oh, ah, oh, darn. Okay, beautiful. Um, so, uh, <laughs> oh, this will be exciting if we can catch him. Um, very, very exciting. It, it would, it would, oh, that didn't last very long. It would be perfect, uh, for our ground gym here. Uh, seeing, especially since he spawned right on top of it, Groudon actually is a ground legendary. Uh, so he would, uh, he would totally, uh, be legitimate. Oh, what, did he not? Not even go into a ball that time? No, maybe. Some, sometimes they don't always get sucked into the ball. <gasps> come on, come on. Yes! 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 <laughs> Got him. <laughs> are we, are we were online and... Oh, you can't see it. Um, okay, hold on. April wants to know... Holy crap. He's a small, he looked huge. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. All right, uh, so let's take a quick look at him. Um, everyone, he, the, the notice just came up. I wasn't even really paying attention. And uh, yeah. Enormous would be scary. <laughs> oh man, yes. Yeah, so I was just, I was just, uh, I wasn't even really paying attention. I was watching a show while I was clearing out. I had put in, oh gosh. Uh, I was watching a show while I was putting in some stuff, and uh, and I just saw the, or I wasn't even in the room, was I? I don't know. I just, I happened to notice the the little thing pop up. A legendary spawned. And it's like, oh, what's that? And it says Desert Hills. I was like, really? And I look up and <laughs> Groudon's just standing right there. And everyone's like, oh, who's in a desert? Go, 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 go. And uh, I was going to say, I thought Mag just flew away. Uh, and so I was like, oh, crap. And so I just ran up and started attacking him. But uh, that's exciting. All right. Well, um, I wasn't exactly ready to start this episode today, but why Why not? Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, huh. I was having issues throwing people out before. Can I? There we go. That works. Um, so let's uh, let's fly over here um, and uh, let's heal. We've got a Pokemon Center that uh, is just over this way. We can use. Um, I need to get some healers made and stuff like that. But uh, um, actually, I have the materials. I just need to do it. Um, I I was a little short on diamonds, but they're easy enough to get. And then. Uh, I actually sold, or rather traded, um, a couple of stacks of wool. I spent some time shearing reaps and things. Excuse me, shearing reaps and things, uh, and got three stacks of wool, three or four. Um, and Jay Seed uh, was looking for some uh, for his ship. I think he's making some sails or something. Um, and I was like, well, I've got it. And I didn't really have any like plans for it. I was just like, you know, in case I ever need. Uh, in case I ever need wool, uh, I'd grab some. Um, but, um, yeah, so I let him have it, and he gave me 15 diamonds for the three stacks I had, or whatever. Um, 
but yeah, so this is a, I, I didn't want to get going too much on the gym, uh, and then I got carried away. <laughs> I wanted, I wanted this middle one done today because it's going to be part of what we're going to do, but uh, as you guys can see, um, uh, as you guys can see, this is kind of what the, uh, what the look is going to be. Um, so this is the, the middle one, um, and then there's going to be one here which I, li I love the positioning of that one. And I had started putting in the one the one up here um, that I had started laying out the, the shape for last time. Um, and uh, it ended up being way too close. I think it was like, I filled it back in, but I think like the edge was like here. It overlapped with this too much. You could barely see it. Uh, and so this one, um, this one I left what it oh yeah so that this will be the the outer edge of this one so there'll be a one wide gap in between which I think will be which I think will be perfect um, so yeah very exciting um, getting this stuff going and uh, and everything but uh, sorry I'm getting distracted by the this the chat uh, so yeah, uh, we'll, we'll work on some of this stuff together. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the look we're going to go for. Um, in this texture pack, it looks pretty cool. And I checked in the other texture pack, um, and uh, just to like actual default, and it looks good too. So that's exciting. Because uh, I don't know if everybody's using the Pokeballer. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if anyone is using the... Uh... <laughs> Is anyone? I don't think I don't know if everybody's using Pokeballers, so I wanted to make sure it looked decent in the default. Because like, I think Spawn looks good in the Pokeballers, but when you go into um, into default texture pack, it looks a little odd. Because like the gray of the paths is actually Netherrack, and the the wood border is actually like um, uh, acacia wood and stuff. So it just looks a little odd in regular. So I want to make sure that my builds look good in both. And uh, I think this, I think this does. We're, we've got some white clay. I had to go out to our mesa and uh, get some clay, and so I've got some white clay for the nose. I think that looks really good. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a Doug trio, and I think on this hill it's going to look epic. Um, and uh, yeah, but so let's uh, let's jump in here today. Um, I've got Sandrews attacking me is what I've got. Uh, hold on, I've got I've got to look at Groudon again here. Let's uh. We're just so excited. Uh, let me let me look at his uh, docile. So neutral nature. That's not bad. Hammer arm, lava plume, earthquake. Much. Oh man. I've got to see if it's legal. Is it legal to have legendaries on a gym team? Because he is technically ground type, so I could I could use him. Uh, he fits my theme. Well, Max says yes, so I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Her team is quite legendary. All right. Well, very cool. Uh, although, wait, oh no, but he's level 70. Ah, oh, that probably won't work because I was planning on capping mine at 60. Oh crap. My level... Cap is going to be 60. Um, all right, so uh, let's take a look at this guy. I'm gonna th I want to throw him out inside the building here uh, just to kind of see how huge he is. He's so big, and this is a small ground on. I don't know if legendaries actually get sizes or if they're all pretty much the same, but uh, man, he looked huge when I was up against him. Um, Anyway, um, so um, let's um, level hundred. Don't know if I will ever get high enough to take you on. Then, uh, all right. Um, so I've got some trees growing over here. Let me check on my wood supply, and then we'll get. Um, Oh, and I've even got some here. All right, uh, let me drop some of this stuff off real quick. Uh, we're not going to need it for the moment. Um, I fought fought a boss and got a repeat ball there. Uh, all right. Yikes. 
too much time on your hands, folks. Um, all right, so let's do this. All right, that'll work. Um, so I want to talk to you guys today as we're getting started on the gym. Anything about the 70s and levels don't matter as much as clever strategy. Yeah, well, I, don't know. I gotta figure out what I'm doing with my gym. Uh, I was thinking level cap 60 just because I don't have time to like, especially if I've got to take on other people's gyms, like I don't have time to get a ton of Pokemon up to, you know, 70. And then, I mean, I guess this will be a long running series, but I'd l I don't want to like wait forever to get going. Um, anyway, anyway. All right, so what we're going to do, I want to talk to you guys about who's going to be on this team. Um, so let's, uh, yeah, all right, so I want to lay out for you guys the Pokemon we're going to be going after here, all right, for our team, uh, for the gym specifically. Um, and so let's, uh, let me see here, there we go. Um, so... I want to go after, um, I want to get a new Swampert, because I'm going to be EV training all of my gym guys, and I have an EV trained Thwomp, so I think I'm going to keep Thwomp for, um, I think I'm going to keep him for my regular team, and I want to get a new Swampert, um, who's going to be adamant, so I'll just, I'll put that there so I know what I'm doing, um, and, and then I want this guy to be... Er, and then I'll put the typing down here, I think. So let's do ground slash water. Do I have enough space for all that? Sure. Let's say so. All right. So Swampert we're going to be going after. We're also going to obviously be going after a Torterra. We need to get one of those. Um, and he is going to be... I need a careful natured Torterra. And let's see, do, 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 do. he is ground slash grass. Beautiful. All right, so those are two of the ones we're going after for sure. Um, I'm going to kind of want to do um, a kind of like, you know, if you guys followed my, um, my Pixelmon Adventure map uh, series, I, uh, the gyms on there, I actually really like how those are set up. Um, ground slash flying. Um, I really like how those are set up because those gym leaders, they've got, ooh, I shouldn't have put a hole here in the floor. Uh, they've got their teams, um, and then, like, you get to pick the number of Pokemon you use against them. So, like, you could come in and say, oh, well, I want to do a 3v3. And then the gym leader would pick the three Pokemon they wanted to use out of, like, their whole team. I kind of want to do something similar um, where I'm going to have more than six Pokemon. Um, and then I will kind of tailor my team for each, um, each opponent. Or just, you know, sh just to shake things up. Um, so this one is either going to be timid or modest. I'm going to kind of be open to that. And he is ground slash... Poison. There we go. Um, so I want to just be able to leave it leave it open. Um, okay, so wait. Uh, we've got camera up and we've got mammal swine. Well, at least we've got those two caught. Uh, let I'll keep this as the wall for things to go after. So Golurk, um, uh, he is going to be impish. Uh, I've got to kind of try, there's a lot of these guys that could potentially serve a number of roles on a given team, um, but since I'm going to have so many of the same type, um, I want to be able to use them for different things. I don't need, like, all adamant, um, uh, you know, uh, attackers. I need to have some people who can function as special, some people who can kind of be tanks and defensive, um, and so... It's kind of going to be different than what you might see typically, you know, always recommended on, like, Smogon or something. Um, I'm going to be doing, trying to keep pretty competitive with these builds, uh, just because it'll be something different than what I typically do with Pokemon games. Um, but I, I still, I don't want to um, be pigeonholed into, you know, their most popular sets, just because... Um, 
I, I think that they won't necessarily mesh together well in a team always. Um, so this guy will be... Uh, I'm going to make this guy jolly. Well, I'll do jolly or adamant. Either could work. Um, and then he is ground slash dark. And last but not least, I think, well, we'll put Flygon on here. It's got a typing that's, you know, um, and honestly, I don't know, I don't know what I want to, what, I haven't looked into exactly what Flygon needs to look like. Um, so I'm still kind of deciding what set I want to use on Flygon. So we'll leave that blank for now. Uh, but yeah. So this is kind of our to catch list. Alrighty. So this will be kind of like our to-do list um, for, oh, I love that I have the, the Western exposure out the front here. That's cool. Um, so this will kind of, and I, hold on one second. I need to, I need to fill this hole up. So I talked about how, you know, my gym's going to be underground and everything, but, um, I put a giant hole in my floor without really thinking, um, about working in there. And I will obviously, uh, we will get to, you know, building underground at some point, but for now, I think we'll probably seal this off, um, and, uh, and come back to it another time. Um, just cause I, uh, don't really want to be falling to my death, or well, not to my death, but falling into the floor every time I walk into this room. Um, so there we go. So this is kind of the team I'm thinking about going for. Um, and if you guys have other suggestions, I feel like this gives me a pretty good, um, pretty pretty good, um, you know, assortment. Uh, you know, I'm doing like one of each typing. So there's more ground rock Pokemon out there, um, but you know, I don't really think I need more than one. Um, and, and there's lots of like monotype ground. And maybe if I find like, um, I think it was Mag Magnum Wolf. Is he still on? Yeah, he is. Um, he caught uh, or just earlier today a, uh, a shiny, a shiny uh, Sand Slash, which is a pretty cool looking guy. Um, so if I could potentially get, you know, if I get a, a monotype ground um, you know, shiny, then maybe I'll bring him in to the gym. Um, but otherwise, I'm thinking, you know, I want to give as much variety because people are going to come in raring to go against ground. And so I'm thinking these dual types will potentially um, throw some kinks into their plans, hopefully. Um, I, I know it's not always smart, and I don't know how many people on this server are going to be going, like, monotype. Um, but... Uh, you know, it's what I wanted to do. That's what a typical gym is, um, except for, like, Gary's gym or something, um, which is the Earth Badge, I guess. But I, I wanted to do ground types. There's so many cool ground types that we can use, uh, and it kind of just gives me an excuse. You know, I love Swamper and Torterra and Gliscor. Oh, shouldn't have been doing that with my axe. Um, and, uh, you know, Nido King's one of my favorite. Uh, so there's just lots of ground Pokemon, and this really just kind of gives me an excuse um, to, to use a lot of them. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, and we may get outclassed and we may not win all of our battles. I hope you guys will forgive that. Most gym leaders do lose their battles, uh, because they give out badges. Um, but yeah, so Golurk, not one of my favorites. Um, but I, I because I, well, I've never really used him, but he is kind of a cool looking dude and he's a ground ghost type, which is a unique typing in this mod. So, um, it might be, well, it's probably unique just in general, but um, you know, so, you know, so we've got water, grass, flying, poison, ghost, rock, geodude, um, oh, come on, Thwomp. Oh, he's got sturdy, that's the problem. Okay. Received cobblestone. Fantastic. Um, okay. Seriously, wrong. Um, so, water, grass, flying, poison, ghost, rock, Dark, Dragon, and then we have Ice and Fire uh, with, with Pile of Swine and Numa right now. Um, so pretty pretty excited about the makeup of this team. I think we can do some cool stuff with them. Um, I, uh, I've got to figure out 
you know, exactly what I need to be doing um, with, like, my level gap cap and everything. Um, at the moment, I was thinking 60, uh, but I, I feel like we need to coordinate a bit on this server because, like, if some people are doing level 100 and then other people are doing 60, then, like, not only do I have to have... <laughs> Magnus trying to buy his Master Ball. Um, not only do I have to have a level 100 team, which is going to take forever, but then I also have to have an equally well set up level 60 team for those people who who are going to, um, you know, do level 60. So it's it's kind of... Uh, it's it's going to be a challenge. i got to figure out what most people are doing, and I will just kind of follow suit. Um, if it takes me a long time to get my team all set up, it's probably going to take me a little while to get them... Um, uh, you know, get these guys caught uh, in the proper natures that I want and everything, and then I'll I'll probably be working on the other guys as I go. Um, it's going to be a long process, especially with like, um, you know, with doing EV training and stuff. Like, I'm I'm doing real well on um, pile of swine here, but it takes forever. And like, so I not only do I have to EV train, but then I'm going to have to. Uh, come back and uh, and then level and then look for TMs and uh, you know just all kinds of crazy stuff so it's going to be a challenge but this is going to be a longer running series and hopefully the other people on the server stay interested long enough that uh, <laughs> they'll still be around when I'm wanting to uh, to get going here but uh, so yeah we're going to have we've got what one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, um, and then Groudon I guess technically um is 11 if we use him um, if I make my level cap 70 or something I guess um, but yeah uh, I'll, I'll think on that because he's got some good moves uh, and his extra stats would be would be useful to me um, I'll, I'll definitely have to make my battle arena larger um, although I guess if I make my level cap 60 that will avoid all, any and all legendaries getting brought into my gym which might be a good idea too but um, yeah so that's kind of what I got in mind. Let me know what you guys think, um, and we will probably... I, I may catch a lot of these guys on camera, um, but, like, you know, I was out in the Mesa before um, gathering the clay for <clears throat> the nose and anything else we might need because uh, I think clay and sandstone go together pretty well in deserty builds, so as I'm doing other things around here, um, good to have some of that around. Um, but, you know, there, there's Rhyhorns out in the Mesa and uh, even uh, Golets and stuff. So, like, I could have I could have knocked some of these guys out. And, uh, you know, it's usually it's me cutting and bringing you back when we get one. So uh, some of these guys I'll catch on camera uh, because I know catching is fun and, and we'll do searches for Pokemon and everything. But um, I think that uh, I, I, I may catch some of these off camera too just so we can get them. And then... Um, be able to do the training we need to do and stuff like that because not only do we need a, a, the ground the the gym team uh, because I'm <clears throat> I'm wanting to get my gym team together first because I've got to get my gym completely built and um, and all ready to go before I can even claim a badge uh, so I kind of want to do that so I can get my badges and start doing those battles um, and then once those are all in place. Uh, I can't really do anything with them then at that point because they're they're in place and they're ready to go and I'll keep them in a box and just, you know, take them out when we need them. Um, so I think that'll be good. Uh, <laughs> and we'll just work on another team at that point then. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think on that, <clears throat> on the team makeup there. If you've got any other suggestions of guys who are in this mod, I think I've pretty much got the best ground types in this mod on my list there. Um, but if you disagree, let me know. And let me know what you think of the, the way the gym's looking. Um, there's going to be, obviously, this is just decorative, kind of on the surface. I think it's looking epic so far. Um, let me know what you guys are thinking, though. And uh, and I will definitely give that some thought if you guys have differing opinions. But um, I think once we get the three heads on here and kind of this moody lighting going on, I think it's pretty epic. Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, last episode was kind of long, and I pretty much covered everything I wanted to cover today. Just wanted to give you guys an idea of what we're doing and show you kind of the gym coming along. Um, you know, I do a lot of building in my other Minecraft series on Farside, and I'm not always happy with how my building episodes come out, so I may just kind of give you guys updates as I go, um, as opposed to trying to do a lot of building on camera. 
Um, but you guys let me know what you want to see, I guess, there. If you guys would like to see all this building happening on camera, let me know. And, uh, and I'll try to accommodate that. But, uh, for now, I think we're gonna... <clears throat> I'm gonna crank out the gym here. Um, and then we will definitely work on the inside of stuff and all that. But, uh, yeah, just kind of excited to get going. So, anyway, really excited about the team that we're gonna be putting together here. And, uh, and, and the gym and everything. I think it's gonna be cool. Especially if we've got Groudons just spawning on top. Uh, of course I've been... I've been out here a while, a uh, considerable period of time, and that's the first Groudon I've ever seen. So they're they're not as uh, not as common as they were in previous versions of Pixelmon, uh, which is okay with me. <clears throat> but um, it's not like we're going to be swimming in Groudons in it or anything. So uh, pretty excited about this guy. Um, oh, is it too much? Of a, well, it happens right at the beginning of the episode, so it won't be too much of a spoiler. I'm gonna. I'm going to take a screenshot. Well, I'll do that once you guys are gone. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the gym team and um, and uh, the gym itself. And if you've got any ideas, I've put all of the uh, all the natures I'm looking at getting and stuff here. Um, if you've got any suggestions about um, move sets you think would give me good balance and things like that, I'll probably be doing my own research. But if you guys have got good ideas, um, I'll kind of leave this here if you guys want to pause and, and get the natures and everything down. Um, the, the problem is kind of like what I found with Pile of Swine. You know, there's lots of great movesets out there for Pile of Swine, but not many that I can actually accomplish here in the game. Um, because there's, you know, lots of things that are egg moves or move tutor things, uh, and so I can't do anything with those in this mod. Uh, so any movesets you suggest will have to be possible in the mod. They'll have to be either be level up moves or TMs. And, uh, and hopefully I can find some good TMs to use. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I've been Torment the Grey, and you guys have been great. Um, make sure to leave those likes, comments, and subscriptions. And uh, I will see you guys... Uh, see you guys... See you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.